Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm doing a book review on That Summer by Jennifer Weiner. That's my name, Jennifer, but my name isn't spelled the same way. So here's a fun fact about me. My name is Jennifer with one N. <laughs> So, um, I'm giving this book four and a half stars. So, I, I absolutely love Jennifer Weiner's books. Um, like, I've read all her books and I've loved them. Um, I want to give this book five stars, but there's just some things holding me back. So, I'm going to go with four and a half stars. It was good. I would highly recommend it. But, wasn't a five star read for me, but that's okay says Daisy Shoemaker can't sleep. With a thriving cooking business, full schedule of volunteer work, and a beautiful home in the Philadelphia suburbs, she should be content. But her teenage daughter is rebelling, her husband can be distant, her work can feel trivial, and she's lost the only real friend she's ever had. Still, Daisy knows she's got it good. So why is she up all night? Hmm. So, our story is following Daisy and Diana. Now, um, Daisy's real name is Diana also. Yeah. So, it gets a little confusing, but she goes by Daisy because her husband, when they first met, he asked her, does she have a nickname or whatever? And she was like, well, my grandma used to call me Daisy. He's like, well, that's what I'm going to call you. So, from that time on, he calls her Daisy, and that's who she becomes. But her real name's Diana. Hmm. As Daisy starts receiving misdirected emails meant for a woman named Diana Starling, whose address is just one punctuation mark off, she imagines a more glamorous single lady life miles away from her home. <laughs> so, she starts getting these emails, which this is a, the first point away from this story for me. She starts getting these emails and her email address is Diana S something dot com or whatever and the other ladies is Diana dot S. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um let's see. While Daisy's driving carpools, Diana is tra traveling the world. While Daisy's making dinner, Diana's making plans to reorganize corporations. An apology leads to an invitation, and the two women meet and become friends. But as they get closer, we learn that their connection was not completely accidental. Who is Diana, and what does she want with Daisy? Hmm. So, we're following both women's lives. Um, and something happened to Diana um, in the very uh, when she was a teenager. And, um, yeah, there's some things that happen, and, but she befriends Daisy. Um, so it so says, from the manicured main line of Philadelphia to the wild beaches of the Outer Cape, Jennifer Weiner's vibrant wit and brilliant observations bring to life the story of two strangers who find they can only move forward with their lives by confronting their shared past. Hmm. <laughs> so, one of the things I really liked in this book was Daisy and her husband have a daughter named Beatrice, who is 14, and she's very much her own person. And I really liked her character. Um, and some of the parts of the book are from Beatrice's point of view. Um, but most of the book is from Daisy's point of view, and then the next part would be Diana's point of view. But the things I really liked about Beatrice was that she wore old-fashioned clothes that she would get at um, the thrift store in Goodwill um, and <laughs> put her own spin on them. You know, she'd wear like the old-fashioned 50s dress and she'd wear black Dot Martens with them. Yeah. She was an artist and she did, um, she had an Etsy shop, which I thought was totally cool. 
Um, and she made little um, felted uh, animals and such and sold them on Etsy. And she did needlework. And she was just her own person at 14 years old. And I just thought that was so cool. Um, but, <laughs> so Daisy is um, Beatrice's mother. She's married to Hal. Now, Hal is quite a bit older than Daisy. Uh, I want to say like 15 years older or something. And he marries her when she's young. She's like 20. Um, and the whole time they're married, he pretty much controls everything. But Daisy doesn't feel like he's controlling her at the time. She just is like, okay, he needs a wife. Uh, we love each other. Um, he's a fancy lawyer. Um, and so she has her daughter and she runs the house, the home. And, you know, always has food ready and everything. Now, uh, Daisy does, um, as a side thing, um, teach cooking classes to people. And that is like her little, um, like for side money and such, just some, for something to do. Because her, daughter, her daughter's gotten older. And that whole teenage thing is going on where she doesn't want to have anything to do with her mother and all this. Um... And then Diana has had the trauma that happened to her uh, the summer she was 15, which is the very first chapter of the book. Um, it's haunted her all through her life. And she's having trouble um, um, accepting love from, she meets a man named Michael on the Cape. And he's just this big bear of a man. And, but she finally lets him in and they fall in love. And yeah. They live on the beach in this really cool house. And she starts doing these um, seashells where she gets seashells from the ocean and she decoupages um, like flowers onto them and decoupages like napkins and such on them. So, and then sells them at the farmer's market. So I really enjoyed that part of the story. Um, where this book fell flat for me was... Um, I think uh, Daisy and Hal's relationship uh, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then um, Daisy and, Di and Diana become really good friends. And the whole time that um, they are meeting and becoming friends and such, Diana is lying to Daisy the whole time about who she is and, like, just everything. And... Um, <clears throat> And that part of the story didn't turn me off because I mean, like, okay, that's kind of intriguing. But the very end of the book is where it thought where it fell off from me, and that's why I'm only giving it four and a half stars. But it was still really good, really good um, uh, story by Jennifer Weiner. Um, I think I wish that the end had a different um, outcome. Maybe I don't know. Did you just hear my my? Um, air conditioner go off <laughs> okay so uh somebody commented in a recent video that um that the air conditioner was too loud okay so i live in an rv now guys and there's no controlling when it goes off and on and it is loud so if i'm doing a video and it comes on or it goes off or whatever then we're just gonna go with it <laughs> um but anyway so um four and a half stars it was pretty good um, so I wanted to talk about something real fast and, um, I don't know if anybody, if you guys watch any of my other videos, but if you like my videos, if you would give me a like and a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. A lot of my, um, uh, little free library tour videos get a lot of views, but then people aren't subscribing. So if you guys want me to continue to do book videos, please hit that like button and subscribe and um i'll just keep doing the uh book review i don't know if anybody i mean there's only a hand few of you guys uh that watch my review videos but hey i really like talking about books i just finished this maybe 10 minutes ago and i wanted to talk about it so i'm just gonna keep doing them but i am gonna be doing um uh what do you call it little free library tour uh, I have a new series coming up because we are going to South Dakota in about two weeks time. So there will be a series of little free library tour videos coming up. So don't forget to check back 
for those. And that's all I got, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.